Johnny, congratulations on the victory. A hard-fought fight. How do you feel about your performance? Now you've had a few minutes to digest. Very good. Great. Yeah. Was that how you thought the fight was going to go? 100%. Uh, after I finished my training camp, after the last two training camps, I knew I was doing everything proper this time. No? And then I was happy already. Before the fight happened, I accept the result. Because whatever it takes, I couldn't do better if, the, if this guy beat me because he's better than me. You know, so I came here to accept the results of the fight. I got to do my best anyway. So whatever wins is the best, and I accept. You heard him very bad in the first round. It looked like you nearly got him out of there until he got the takedown. Did you know the calf kicks were going to be able to set up more attacks, and did you know they would hurt him over the course of the fight? Of course, 100%. Like, I didn't push so much on the, on the calf kicks because I don't want to make the fight boring, you know? And then after I feel that I damage his mobility, then I start trying to set up other, other skills. Yeah. You guys were talking to each other in there. Um, curious what you were saying to each other. Uh, you're going to never know, my friend. You have to be there. Yeah. Well, I actually could hear it on the TV, so I was curious bit. if you got to replace it. He said something about his family, and you were confused by that? I yeah, I have no idea. I don't understand. Then after, I understand a little bit. Is everything okay between you two? 100%. Cool. Um, he tweeted, congratulations to you. I'm not sure if you saw that. Um, what, what do you make of that, uh, considering there was a little bit of tension before the fight? Uh, I think it was never tension. I hate nobody, you know. I'm, it's just my job. Did you see the tweet? Not yet, but uh, thank you very much. I'm glad that... Uh, and I'm very grateful that I, I fought him. He's a great fighter. Like He's in the top 10, top 5 for a long time, you know. And he gave me a really good experience. So I'm, ha I'm happy that he gave me an opportunity to fight him to show that I'm ready for the, the next step. Were you surprised by him at all in there? Surprised for what? Were you surprised by him at all? Was there anything that surprised you about him, the way he fought you? Uh, not really. I, I was watching all of his fights. I've, I've been following him a long time, so I knew what he was going to try, the way that he fight. I was ready for everything. Where would you rank this performance amongst all of your other wins? Say it again? Where would you rank? This performance, where would you uh, list it on your list of um, okay. wins? Uh, I think it's the best, right? I never fought somebody in the top five. So this is my best performance until now. I know I can do better, so this is why I come back to the gym this week and keep training, keep improving, because next time I want to fight better than this time. And what's your game plan for the return? Uh, how soon do you want to get back in there? Uh, I have to check if I have any injury. You know, you have to deload your body a little bit as well, because when you start a computer in your body, repetition of punching and kicks and, you know, you damage your body a little bit, not just on the fight, but on the camping train as well. So this is why you need to take maybe one week, two weeks off, whatever, to you heal up, then you can beat your body again. So I have to check if I have any significant injuries, and then I'll back train, stretch away, and I'll be ready anytime soon. I noticed you had some ice. Is there anything that you're worried about particularly in terms of an injury? No, it's just bruise. Um, I have to confirm, no, like I'm going to do some uh, tests, but uh, I think just bruise, I blocked some kicks, so my, my, my shin is swollen, but uh, swollen on my, my bone, so it's, it's better swollen my bone than swollen, get lost my mobility, like I was kicking him on his muscle, he needed his muscle to, to mobility, if he block his kick, I'm going to stop kicking, you know, or I have to set up better punch before the kick, so if you don't block the kick, you're going to lose some mobility, so. I don't lost my mobility. He lost. And it looked like for a moment that he was going to retire at the end of the fight. I don't know if you noticed that or, or how you would feel if um, you sent someone into retirement. What would that feel like? Uh, feel sad, right? It's a career. But I think he, he had a good opportunity. He fought for the belt. He made his history, his legacy already. So let me try to do mine now. Do you feel like it's time for him to retire, or do you feel like he still has enough in him and that he can continue? Uh, he still has something, you know. He can keep fighting a little bit more, maybe until 36 or something, you know. Thank you. That's it. Thank you.